Hey guys, I am Rajat and today in this video, I am going to talk about how can you install HROM S20 R port in your Samsung Exynos 7870 devices. So without wasting more time, let's get started. So the first thing that you need to do is turn off your device and boot it to your custom recovery mode by pressing the home button, power key and the volume up key at the same time. Now for the installation I would like to recommend you to use the orange fox recovery. If you don't know how to install this, check the video that is popping up now in the right corner. Now after opening your custom recovery mode, you have to wipe your device. For that, just go to the third section called wipe and then select Dalvik, Arcash, Cache, System and Data and after selecting these four options, swipe the arrow to the right side for wiping your device. As you can see that my device has been successfully wiped, so let me just show you the zip files that you need for installing this ROM. For the installation you just need 3 zip files, first one is the create vendor zip file, second one is the H ROM S20 R ports zip file and third one is the repartition zip file. The link of the zip files has given in the description box. To install the ROM, first of all flash the create vendor zip file. Now once you have done with the installation, just reboot your recovery mode. Now the main fact is the system requires 4 GB of system size, for that you have to flash the repartition as zip file and after flashing this zip file this will remove everything from your internal storage. So before flashing it just keep a backup of your internal storage and when the installation gets completed this will automatically reboot your recovery mode. So you do not have to worry about this. Now previously once I have installed the repartition as a file for checking this ROM that's why my files are not erased but if you are doing this first time this will remove everything from your internal storage. Now just do a complete format of your device for that just again go to the third section called wipe and then select format data and here you have to type yes and then click on the right button by that your device will be formatted. Now just again reboot your recovery mode. Now since everything has been erased from my internal storage, I am going to copy the ROM's zip file from my PC to my device internal storage using the charging cable. Now just simply flash the ROM's zip file. 
be patient because the installation of the zip file will take a large amount of time in comparison to other one UI ported ROMs. Now as you can see that the zip file has been successfully installed. Now just tap on reboot system by that your device will be booted automatically. Now if your device is stuck at the boot logo like this, do a power reboot by pressing the volume down key and the power key simultaneously. By that your device will be booted surely. So here is our HROM S20R port that comes with Android 11 and One UI 3.0. The apps that you are seeing right now will stay as pre-installed applications in your system but there is no pre-installed camera application. That's a major issue. And since the ROM is a beta version ROM, this will not give you stable performance as compared to the other One UI 2 ROMs and random reboot also present that's why i cannot recommend you to use this rom as daily driver now if we go to the settings and then about phone we can see that the rom is ported from galaxy s20 and from the software information we can see that the rom is running on android 11 with one ui 3.0 let's just increase the text size by that this will be visible more clearly As you can see that there is a lagginess in the system UI. As you can see the random reboot is also present. In terms of One UI version the ROM runs on One UI 3.0 uh, that runs on Android 11 and the kernel that has been used is the simple kernel version 2 and the android security patch level is 1st december 2020 security patch now till the xda page is not created for this room but when this will be available i will put the link of this page in the description box but the download link of this ROM has given in the description box so you can easily download and can install in your device. So that's it for today, hope this video will help you. If it did, press the like button. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe to this channel. And guys, I will talk to you in the next one. Bye bye.